Hello guys, how are you? Mr. Fabian here. Let me show you how to use Desmos. Okay. So first go to this website, desmos.com. Desmos.com. Click where it says graphing calculator. And then we're going to start doing graphs right away. Let me show you. So first, we can put right here any function that we're going to be graphing in this area. Or you can click on the add item and select expression. And you have a different expression that you can do. Okay. Also, if you click on the menu, it says open graphs. You have already a lot of different lines that you can grab. Okay. So I'm going to recommend you to start with this one. A slope, intercept, form. This is the first one that we're going to be using. Lines, a slope, intercept, form. Probably you already know about this uh, form. Click on open graph. And there we go. You have your line. And it's super easy to modify the slope. Remember the M and the Y intercept or P. So if you use these sliders right here, you're going to be able to change the slope. In this case, I'm going to leave it in three. And the Y intercept. All right. You can put it negative or positive, up to you. You can even put it by hand. So you can put negative three, for example, and positive four. Let's say it like that, okay? All right, now you can compare with other functions. So for example, you can just type a different function right here. Y equals to three X minus five. And you can compare two different functions and then you can see which one is uh, increasing faster and which one is uh, increasing slower and so on. If you guys want to change the ones that are visible or not, you can just click here. All right, it's pretty cool. That one, this icon right here. Also, you can change the colors and so on, but I'm going to show you later. Uh, would you prefer to use the keypad? You can just deploy it if you click on the keyboard icon that you have in the bottom then there you go you're gonna have right here you have visible let me just move this out of the way there you go you have visible all the icons that you guys need so for example the ones for the inequalities uh, parentheses and all that stuff okay pretty cool right okay very good let's gonna also Try with a different function. Let me just try with this one, to x, that's three. There you go. You see that you can compare the different functions. You can see where they intercept and so on. You can zoom in and out right here. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to recommend you guys to use uh, this tool to graph different, uh, different functions. Also, let me show you something really, really cool. Let me just delete all these functions. There you go. These ones as well. And I'm going to create something called a table. So when you create a table of values, you can just compare them and see which ones are the location of those values in the graph. So for example, I'm going to tell that the point with value x equals to 2, y equals to 6 is located right here in the graph. Okay. And then later on, you can also do several uh, several uh, tables at once, so not only one, okay? So each of them is going to be with different colors, and you can hide them and so on, all right? So then negative 2, negative 5, okay? different values, all right? So each of them are going to have different colors. Do you want to save everything that you guys are doing? Click on Login and use your Google account in order to save all your work. All right, pretty cool, huh? Also, let me tell you something, you can use it in your cell phones. So if you feel like the computer is super, super slow, you can just visit this website or install the app of Desmos in order to use it. Have fun, guys, with this tool, it's amazing. Have a good day, take care, stay safe, bye.